Hey everybody, it's Mike here coming to you from Kearney Mass, a great place to be. This is a little video for all you great people out there, all you wonderful people checking us out from the comfort of your own home. This is a 2025 CX50 GT. Check it out, 2025 CX50 GT in machine gray with that beautiful terracotta leather upholstery. Check out the design on this CX50. I love the way these things look. Nice big bulgy arched out fenders and wheel wells. You got that nice little cladding along the whole bottom. You got 20 inch wheels on there and tires. Nice set of tires there is a modern stone rating on those tires. You can drive them all year round. You got a four wheel disc brake system. It takes, it's very, it's very good on fuel and this paint really hides the dirt really well. Actually, I love, one of the things I love about this paint is that the uh, fender arches and the molding along the bottom kind of all match up with the gray on gray. It looks really, really good. Check out that design. You got some signal lamps built into the outside rear view mirror to let other people know what your intentions are. And you've got a blind spot monitoring light on the inside of the rear view mirror just so that it will give you an indicator if someone's coming up beside you. Um, those outside rear view mirrors are also heated. Check out the front bumper here. Nice big bold front bumper uh, you got some beautiful headlights that will turn as you go around corners or automatic high beam low beam you got those low marker lights in the bottom for signal lamps you got these great big nice intakes along the front corners there uh, the ventilation keep your brakes a little cooler it looks cool too you got a sim uh, you got a camera underneath the mazda symbol there and in the mazda symbol there is a uh, radar for your adaptive cruise control to match the speed of the driver in front of you underneath the hood is a 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. You can put regular gas in it, gets you about 220 horsepower. If you put premium fuel in it, you get 250 horsepower. But let's talk about the torque on this baby. Even with regular gas, you get 310 foot pounds of torque, which is just awesome. Uh, 310 foot pounds of torque with the, with the with the regular gas, 320 foot-pounds of torque with the premium fuel. And check out that beautiful terracotta leather upholstery. I love the terracotta. It's got that nice little black strip with that stitching up the middle there. It's perforated leather, so it helps you. It breathes really nice. And uh, it does have ventilated seats and heated seats. So it keeps you cool in the summer and hot in the winter. Got a really nice, a lot of pizzazz here along the door with that terracotta armrest with a bit of stitching along the top panel there. There's a bit of storage, you got some speakers. And guess what kind of sound system is in here? Bose, it's got a beautiful Bose sound system. Check out that dash, uh, ventil ventilation along the side there's adjustable. You got that stitching that goes all the way down the dash there. There's your dual zone climate control. Uh, cup holders are in a really accessible, easy spot to reach. You got a bit of storage up there. You got your six speed automatic transmission with a manual override. You got multiple drive modes, um, sport mode, normal, which is the most fuel efficient, off road. And then if you do have a hitch receiver with wiring and connect up to a trailer, you'll have a towing mode as well. That little HMI commander with the volume switch controls everything up on the screen here. And you do have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. Just below that, you got your dual zone climate control with your heated seats and ventilated seats and where you want your air to go. There's your push button start behind the steering wheel here. You got these paddles to shift gears. Check out that panoramic roof. You got a skylight to go all the way to the back seat as well. And you've even got, a, talking about the roof, you've got these nice little rails up here too. All you gotta do is add the crossbars and you can put stuff up on the roof. And this is a really nice height. It's a great height for roof racks. Not too high, it's not too short, it's just right. All right, let's have a look in the back seat here. Door opens up nice and wide and uh, getting in and out of here is a breeze. Tons and tons of interior space. Your passengers are gonna really love you if you get one of these vehicles. It's very spacious. I got shoulder room, hip room. I got some arm room. Uh, I got good visibility, but even better yet for the driver, check out that nice visibility, nice big windows to look out of. And there's the spot to be right behind the steering wheel. Uh, back here, if you do wanna uh, put the seats down, 
it's got a 60 40 split rear folding seat and having experience with going on a road trip in a cx-50 it fits a lot of stuff i got my dog crate in here two two bags for luggage or three or four bags for luggage all of our stuff and the dog and it was absolutely wonderful really comfortable to drive on a long distance and fuel efficient actually uh fuel efficient powerful uh suv these days is is hard to come by let's go check out the back end of this vehicle so back here you've got more led lighting you got that privacy glass along the rear windows high mount brake light it's also got a a backup camera when you put it into reverse it shows you what's behind you there's your dual exhaust you also have park distance control on the front and the back that's what these little guys here are for it'll beep as you get closer to something it's got the power lift gate on the back so open up the back end of this thing and check out all the great space back here it's even got a little bit of storage over here and you got a bit more over there there's a power source if you want to plug something in these are quick releases for the seat, so if I pull on this guy here, it'll pop that seat down. And as you can see, you get uh, the dog is going to love it. You can fit long stuff up here. Um, great for groceries, great for all sorts of stuff. Closing up the back door, there you go. That's the back end of the CX-50 in machine gray. Okay, I'm going to get in behind the, the driver's, uh, behind the steering wheel here in the driver's seat and tell you what, a little bit more about what that's like. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, it's got a little indentation on the door here. When you get out of the vehicle, you just swipe that and lock the car to unlock it. As long as the keys are on you, you just got to grab the inside of the door handle and that'll unlock it. Okay, so, yeah, very comfortable. It's got a power seat. I'm just going to lower myself down a little bit here. And you can have up to four different positions memorized on the power seat. Remember, you got one for each key, and then you got two more inside here, and you can do those power power memory seats down here. This button here is to turn off some of your eye active safety sense features. This button here is kind of useful. You push that button, and it turns on your 360 camera, shows you where you are on the right-hand side there, and how to line yourself up into a, a parking stall so that you're in, in a prime position for parking. And then you got your park distance control, you can turn that off. You got your traction and stability control, you can turn that off. And you can turn off the idle stop feature right there. Below that, you can open and close the rear door, and then you got your power memory seats. In the outside rear view mirror, and those, that mirror over here is a tinting rear view mirror, a little light will come on like that when someone's in your blind spot. And just down below that, we got all your power mirrors and power windows. Remember what mirror you have lit up will be the mirror that angles down when you put it into reverse so ideally if you got the right mirror lit up so that when you put it into reverse what will happen is that mirror will tilt down to give you a little bit more of a better view of the curb if that's what you're getting close to um more on the steering wheel here or behind it you got your automatic headlights you can leave those on permanently and your high beams you, they'll just go on and off as needed i got a paddle shifter if i want to shift gears i can move, move down the gears here i've got stereo controls up and down or mute i got next song or previous song or where do i want my music to come from as source information changes your cluster here a little bit every time i push that button it changes the look of your instrument cluster a tiny bit and then you got voice command pick up the phone if someone's calling you through the bluetooth system or the android auto apple carplay or if you just don't want to take a call or if you're done making the phone call just hit hang up um, in the gauge cluster as well you got your fuel guide your speedometer your rpm cluster and it does give you a bit of information like your average your fuel economy and how many kilometers you have left till you're empty over on this side of the steering wheel here is your uh, adaptive cruise control and with the adaptive cruise control if i turn that on it turns the that that the, the bars are up on on that screen up there and i can adjust how close i want to adjust, uh, to track somebody what basically it does is it is it keeps the same speed as the driver in front of you as long as you're not going as long as your speed is not, as long as he's not going faster than your desired speed your vehicle will will adapt to the speed of the driver in front of you and with this button here you can you can choose how close you want to be to that driver the lines on either side of that are your lane departure warning system 
And at speeds at 60 kilometers or below, the steering cruise control um, assists with your steering, uh, keeps you in the lane, notifies you if you're leaving. And along with all the autonomous braking and stuff like that, so you're in a very, very safe vehicle, extremely safe. And then you got your accelerate, decelerate. Over here, you got your windshield wipers. There's the other paddle shifter for moving up gears. Off, automatic, low, and high. Your rear wiper. There's your uh, start stop button. This is your transmission. It's a six speed automatic transmission. When I put it into reverse, it shows you what's going on behind you with the camera. And then on that side over here, you've got the uh, 360 camera right there. Put it back in the park. It, uh, goes back to your screen like this and it does have android auto apple carplay you get factory nav in this vehicle um which is right here but if you do use your android auto apple carplay then you're going to get into google maps and stuff like that too which is which is absolutely fantastic you can change the gears down here as well in the manual mode and then there's your multiple your um, drive modes you can choose there's your electronic parking brake and right below here is a um uh, wireless charging pad and underneath the armrest. So these armrests are absolutely fantastic. Last but not least, folks, let's try out the radio in here, see what kind of music, how this Bose sound system works. And, whoa! Okay, see if I get a, a better station here. All right, see what's in going on. Yeah, that's it. That's the 2025 Mazda CX-50 GT Turbo. If you or somebody you know is in the market for an awesome SUV, you got to come check this thing out. Uh, give me a call, 250-338-5777. Email me, mike at courtneymazda.com. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great day.